Welcome to another SEO tutorial. So this one is, is about an SEO core concept and that is NAP, N-A-P. And that stands for name, address, phone number. And you'll also hear this same concept called a citation. So basically what NAP stands for again is name, address, phone number. So like if we see this Lakeland Insurance Agency, right, that's the name, then we have the address here, then we have the phone number. Now, of course, Google tracks much more than just these three things, but that's how the core concept started. Obviously, the website also, and that's a very important part. So inside of that citation, or NAP, right, and there can be lots of them. If we take a look, right, there could be just tons of them out there that have business listings out there where they keep your name, address, phone number. And an important thing for Google is to understand that they want all of these to be exactly the same to match. So you want to make sure that if you have your name, well, make sure that it's exactly the same. Most cases they are, but sometimes we have problems with maybe there's a apostrophe or there's some kind of LLC. We want to make sure as much as possible that these are all the same so that Google can go ahead and keep things straight for us, give us a higher ranking. Same thing with the phone number. I want to make sure if you have multiple phone numbers that you make sure that at least you stay with one core number and or you add any extra numbers. So if you have cell phones or multiple location numbers, make sure that they are in the right places. So again, name, address, phone number. This is a great way to get external backlinks to your website and Google gives you more credit for this. And in a certain way, same thing with your social media like Twitter or Facebook, right? These also control, these also contain your name, address, and phone number. So an important thing for us all to understand as a core concept, first understand what this is and two, make an effort to go ahead and go through as many of them as you can and update these with the websites so that you have matching name, address, phone number, and website. So if you've had multiple website domains or you have some redirects going on, make sure that all of those get back to kind of consolidated down to one site. Right? It also can help you to maybe dissuade you from changing any of these things just flippantly. Now, sure, if you're doing a, a complete rebrand where you're changing numbers or you're changing the name or you're changing that address or even changing your website domain, you want to make sure that you really want to do that. And when you do, you also want to update your business listings, your NAP, your citations, so that all these are matching. This is a great way for Google to help to increase both your website and your Google business listing when you have matching citations or matching naps. You can also, as we said, go to some of these other sites. And if you don't exist on some of these sites, you might think about, well, maybe I should go ahead and take some time and go ahead and add my listing to these. All right, if you'd like to get more helpful SEO tips, go ahead and subscribe because every Tuesday we put out another helpful little quick SEO tip. Thanks, and I hope this helps.